Good morning, YouTube. Happy Vlogmas. I'm on a walk. It is, here I'll pop the uh, temperature thing up here. It is freezing cold and I have no gloves. And sometimes when I got really cold, I got really inspired. So I thought I would just do walk and talk with you guys. So this is the video. I'm gonna be walking and talking with you. If it bothers you to have a shaky camera or not perfect lighting or sound, or makeup and hair, then just skip on through. But <clears throat> I want to talk a little bit about uh, an experience I just had this week with almost doing a 72 hour fast. Now, this is not clickbait. I was actually downloading the fasting app, about to do it, like for real, for real, about to do this. And you guys know on my channel, I have talked a lot about why I am not fasting right now. Um, I have also talked about the fact that I'm having Dr. Mindy Pels on my channel in January to talk about fasting for women and, you know, just get a little bit more into depth about fasting for women and how to do it. Because I think that it's not something that should be totally off the table. Um, but I do think that there's a way for women to do it and not do it. So I'm gonna talk to her about it. Um, but I've had a really effed up <laughs> month <laughs> from my last vlog that I did. I showed you guys the flood that my sweet daughter caused in the middle of the night, flooded my entire downstairs basement, caused, uh, about $20,000 of damage to my home. So that was about a month ago. Well, last week I was actually filming a vlog for you guys, which I have not published and put together, but I was going down the stairs to do my laundry, stepped into the laundry room and my foot was immersed completely in water. I heard gushing water and I'll show you guys a video. I'll overlay this one. Um, yeah, my hot water heater exploded. I'm not even kidding. And so then, you know, we had to get the people back over to suck all the water out of our basement, put a bunch of dehumidifiers fans down there, which are still down there, and get a brand new hot water heater and just, ugh, it was just stressful. You know, it's like, what is going on? And I'm feeling very powerless. I'm feeling very frustrated. I've thought about quitting Vlogmas and not doing videos, but honestly, doing videos, creating content is like, fun for me. I love it. Or I wouldn't do it. It's a creative outlet. It takes my mind off of things that helps me to de-stress, which is why you're still seeing videos for me, even though whew, this month can kiss my butt. <laughs> um, you know, and it's the holidays too. It's the holidays. I have a lot of memories, many, many years of eating all the sugary treats and you know, memories of being with friends that I can't be with this year. Memories of being with family I can't be with this year. A lot of us are dealing with this. Maybe your house didn't flood. I'm gonna get to the fasting thing, I swear. It's not clickbait. Um, maybe your house didn't flood twice in a month, but you're probably experiencing some sense of powerlessness the way that I am. Probably, maybe. Maybe everything's good for you and you're totally unaffected by 2020. Maybe if you are, I'm happy for you. I have no hate for you, but a lot of us are in this like feeling of powerlessness. And I was kind of at my peak this week of like, oh my gosh, I have no presence for anybody. We still have these dehumidifiers downstairs. They have started making me wake up in the night dehydrated and thirsty. And y'all know I've worked hard to get my electrolytes on point. Um, and so I felt like I'm gonna turn around because I hear people, I really, I'm still a little like weird about walking with my phone out in front of me. I have no selfie stick. Oh, my shoulder's starting to do a weird thing. So anyway, I was like, you know what? My friends and I'll put them here, Laura Spath, who you guys probably, if you're following me, you're probably following her. People actually think that we're the same person a lot, which is hilarious. I'm like, no, no. I love Laura though, and my friend Linda, the carnitarian, we're doing a 72 hour fast this week. And I literally downloaded the app, was like gonna do it, legit. 
Why? Why would I do that after I am working to really get my electrolytes on point, my adrenals on point, my hormones on point, you know, and I do think fasting is okay for some people, but it's off the table for me right now. And I was like literally going to do this because I want to control something. And this is like a bigger topic. It is a bigger topic because people are gonna be looking to do the carnivore diet that are looking for control. People are gonna be, that are doing carnivore keto looking to be doing a lot of fasting. They're looking for control. And there's nothing wrong with keto. There's nothing wrong with the carnivore diet. There's really, if you're doing fasting for the right reasons, I don't think it's a bad thing. But my motive was disordered. My motive was disordered to do this fast, to gain some control, to get the high I get from fasting. And it would probably, with all the stress going on in my life, been a total disaster. It caused more stress. You know what I mean? So it's just, the message of this video is that you guys, stuff is crazy right now. Stuff is stressful right now. Give yourself space to feel your feelings. You're not wrong for feeling powerless, for feeling like a lack of control. You're not wrong for feeling like everything's not okay right now. But watch out. If you have a history of this disordered thinking, watch out for that because it can, if you're like me, manifest in your food, in, you know, fasting. And these things are not going to be right for everyone, especially if you, I don't really think a lot of people should just jump <laughs> feet first into carnivore if they don't have a serious health problem. If they're not trying to heal autoimmune issues, you know? Um, so it's a word of caution also. Don't jump and do fasting if you don't have a serious health problem. It can be very helpful for people with type 2 diabetes. Um, there's a list of health issues, but my arm is killing me right now. <laughs> my shoulder is killing me. It's on fire. But this is, again, a little different than my typical content. I'll be back to the cute edited vlogmas videos tomorrow, but just overall message, it is okay to not have anything figured out right now. If you're binging, if you're struggling, it's also okay. Now, and you don't have to do it anymore because that's another way of exhibiting control because you're in this binge cycle and you know what that feels like. You know what it feels like to binge and wake up the next day and feel like crap and then restrict. It's familiar, right? What's unfamiliar, which is what I'm doing right now, and I'm gonna end this because it's getting long, is feeling my feelings, acknowledging my feelings. This is very stressful, not spiritual bypassing and being like love and light and gratitude lists. I mean, those things are good but you have to feel your feelings. And for me, I know a 72 hour fast will feel really good. It will feel really good. It'll give me a sense of accomplishment. Um, there's an insane high that you get with 72 hour fast. I've done it before. There's a really nice high that you get. And as maybe one day that will be back on the table for me. Maybe I will attempt these again, but right now, <laughs> It would be for the wrong reasons. And with all the stress that's been going on in my life, it will probably not be helpful. So, okay, that's it today, you guys. <sighs> it's brisk out here. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I'll see you in the next video.